We came up with the name Mondragon um, basically as kind of an homage to uh, the Mondragon uh, cooperative network in Spain. Mondragon Bookstore and Coffee House has a bookstore, a cafe area, and a grocery store. So it's all vegan, no animal products at all, no dairy, no eggs, no meat of any kind. And so we have soups, we have salads, we have sandwiches, and it's nothing I don't think that's going to throw people off. So we try and cater to people that are it's a little bit more familiar food, but it's vegan. This is the bookstore at Mondragon. Uh, we have a wide selection of books related to social justice issues and progressive politics. So we have everything from, say, feminism to anti-racism to economics, uh, anarchism, Marxism, activism, tons of different sections. And then we have CDs, uh, shirts, and, and lots of different things. We've been a collectively operated business since the very beginning and a worker co-op for about five years now. And the main thing I like is the people, is working with all the other people and uh, building on different ideas and collaborating and consensus and just feeling like a part of a team. I felt that Mondragon was uh, a different model for a workplace, something that I was really attracted to. I needed something that was different from sole proprietorship. I like the spirit of worker co-ops like you know it's just it's like a family essentially there tends to be a greater idea of these are my dishes i'm washing and i'm washing them for the good of all of us here and i'm doing it because i actually care and that in itself is empowering the idea of balanced job complexes to me was probably one of the biggest perks of working here because that's where hierarchy gets evened out. We try to get people having a variety of shifts so that their overall empowerment does have a balance to other people. You have a certain number of grocer shifts, you have a certain number of serving shifts, a certain number of dish shifts and you want to achieve a situation so that every worker over a two week period, over a month, has a balance compared to all other workers. Diversity is another huge value of this place too. Um, not just diversity in you know the staff and, and the, the people that are working here, but diversity of ideas and things that we're all bringing to, to the table. Like even if you think of the food that we're, we're providing, it should be, it shouldn't be monocultures of, uh, of unhealthy food. It should be a whole bunch of different things. decision uh, that affects everybody in the collective, we try to decide it by consensus where we come up with a proposal and then we come up with concerns about, uh, everybody will, will come up with concerns about what they have with that proposal. We'll try to rework it to the point where everybody can kind of thumb up that idea and be like, yeah, I could actually, I could stand behind that. Consensus can be tough because in the debates that it inevitably entails, Many, uh, many lines sometimes get crossed and you might uh, find yourself arguing passionately with a coworker you normally get along with famously and that can be painful. And just like try and answer any questions, erase any doubt, you know, and just, yeah. So consensus, it's awesome. <laughs> It's tough to, I mean, pay yourself properly, it's tough to keep prices down. Through the years, there's a lot of turnover because of the fact that, um, you know, over, over the course of, of time, people have a hard time making a low, low wage, even though we have lots of sort of benefits. Um, so we lose, we lose a lot of people after, after a while. Quite often, older members are doing a large amount of work that the newer members are unaware of completely. 
which is hard because if there ever comes a time that the newer members suddenly have to take on that burden, it will really be confusing and chaotic. So I think that there's an issue with hierarchy and that not just theoretically, but in practical terms, it needs to be dismantled. Mm -hmm. I really support the worker co-op movement. I think it's really uh, an important movement for workers to have a stake in their business, to have ownership in their business. When we became a worker co-op, we realized there was all this support out there from other worker co-ops that, that wasn't available to us when we weren't a worker co-op. Essentially, like if I'm in business with a bunch of my friends, then like we, you know, it's all in our best interest. Like, and if a bunch of us are living next to each other and we have this business then that's like good for a community right because like we're neighbors we have a business you know like it's just really really great for the community and i think that's what we need we need more community and less like sort of separation and isolation bad isolation <laughs>